Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm gonna teach you how to properly roleplay on After the Flash Mirage. Now, um, most people just say, oh, well, um, you're supposed to speak in quotation marks like this with proper grammar, and yeah, that is true, but I assume if you're watching this video, you already have played the game. And if you haven't, I'll just go on a rundown of what this game is basically about. Okay, so, this game, essentially, if you go into the description of this video, I'll link the uh, Roblox game down below. Now, <clears throat> if you go in the description of that game, there's, okay, wait, let me, uh, so there's a, little teeny mo bobby wait okay um so yeah so there's lore and um basically the lore is states the time period and all that crap let me read it to you guys <laughs> So this is the official lore. This is just one piece of the lore. It won't be too long. I'll just read the first paragraph of it. In 2032, the world was consumed by nuclear war. For the next decade, a nuclear war enveloped the Earth. The majority of humanity died during this period from starvation and disease. Many of those who managed to find food and avoid disease died fighting over what was left of the world. And then it goes on to stay, say, the year is 2055, Lake Med, Arizona, and there, and it just <clears throat> talks about the bandit groups, it talks about the factions. Um, I'll actually show you guys what I'm seeing right now. If you want to click on the description of After the Flash Mirage, and you open another tab, it will bring you to the description. I just read this part. You guys can go ahead and pause the video and read the rest all through here. And then you scroll down and you see locations, all about the locations, what happened to them. And then you have all the factions right here. So United States Civilization. Pre preservation Force, USCPF, and then you got the Civilian Defense Front, CDF, and then you got the Southwest Liberation Fort, SLF. Now, <clears throat> the SLF is essentially a group opposite of the USCPF. They're like, um, they're a political government or a political group that has built an army trying to take over what is left of the world or what is left of Lake Med, Arizona, anyway. So, that th that's essentially what it states here. It just states that the CDF, whatever, it just states that the Southwest Liberation Front is an extremist political group that wants to create a new liber... liber <laughs> libertarian government in the surrounding area so basically they just want to take over um lake med arizona or yeah lake med arizona so that's basically if you're starting out that's that's like pretty much what you just need to know if you're starting out to role play as an f sfl or slf my bad it's an slf or uscpf now when you're role playing as an SF, SLF, you are your main base is right here. This is SLF base or SFL. No, it's SF SLF base right here. Viridian Fort Viridian is SLF base. This crater view is like a civilian hotel slash motel that provides services and you pay 75 cents per week usually some people well it's actually quite rare that people role play as creative review guards as it doesn't mention that that's a playable character in the lore un unless you look in the discord server link below by the way so yeah um as an slf you cannot go to creator view but you can pretty much go anywhere else except the um uh except the uh, 
crap, I forget. Um, yeah, but there was a military base. Is it here? No, that's roadside bar. Okay, what's this? Okay, never mind. But yeah, there is a military base. I think the base, oh, that that's the city. Um, that's right next to Viridian. But yeah, there is a military base on this map that is for USCPF. But as of now, USCPF can not go into Viridian, but they can. Um, they can't go into Crater View. SLF can go into Crater View. I think I said they can't, but they S SLF can currently um raid Crater View with like two plus people. You should go with just to make it look more proper. So, uh, so because I'm an SLF member, I'll just travel to Fort Ver Viridian and explain the rest of the rules. Okay, now this is simple. Um, just use quotation marks when you're talking, and use proper grammar like capitals at the start of your sentence, periods, commas, etc. When you're out of character, do O O C, and then start talking like this. You can also use um. You don't have to use grammar while in out of character talking with the brackets. You can put the bracket at the end, or at the front, or on both. So, oh, both, both. Yeah, you can use both and then put sentence in between there. When, when you're talking out of OOC, wait, out of C, which is character, OOC is out of character, by the way. When you're talking out of, out of, uh, when you're talking out of character or OOC, talking OOC, then it, you have to say, I see, which means in character, and then you start talking, talking. You start talking again, like that. And that's essentially how you should roleplay. I see people just going up to you, like, hi. Like, oh, sorry about that ad. Um, or like, just saying, hi, lower capitals. Like, absolutely nothing. Like, you, you should never go up to someone, hi, with wrong grammar. You should always say hi or hey. And you use some of those or greeting. But, yeah. um, No sexism or racism or, f or like, don't, don't talk about religion unless your character is a religion character. Which, I mean, religion, I'm pretty sure, was like... I think Christians still survive, as the lore said. I, I haven't read, actually, much much of the lore myself, but my friend knows a crap ton about the lore, so I didn't really have to read much. But I'm pretty sure that you can have religion. I think Christians are still the biggest religion, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but, yeah. Um. Also, when finding, like, secret items... When, like, trying to find cosmetics, like, if you go into tools, and you try and find one, see, I have this locked, it. watermelon atom kick hidden on the map, now, I'll actually show you guys where the watermelon, watermelon atom kick is now, but when you're searching for, like, an atom kick or a cosmetic, that's a, that, it, so, to make sure that it's a cosmetic that you can actually have, um, whoa, okay. Um, to make sure it's a cosmetic you can actually have, um, just, you, just, like, it will have red words, and it will say the name of the cosmetic, and underneath it, it will say hidden in map. Now, underneath some of the cosmetics, it will say found in, like, 2019 Mary gift or whatever, which are cases you buy for Robux, or emerald cases, which at one point were exclusive and you found them at certain spots around the map uh, they spawned every 30 minutes or so but now they're gone so you can't really do that anymore so um also another thing to so when you're searching for these cosmetics um go either click this little arrow on the left here and click toggle out of character or ooc and then you'll go invisible and you can search like for cosmetics like that way but if you're with a friend and you want them to be able to see you better just take take your name and do ooc like that and just 
um, do that. Like, just make it out of character, but don't actually toggle OOC. Just name yourself OOC. Um, another thing is when you're... What? Okay, my Adam kick just disappeared. Um, when you're out of character, or when you're in SFL, um, name yourself A, B, and then your name. Because then that makes you known to be a SFL. So, yeah. Um, there's also a bunch of more lore, not just the lore in the description. You can, um, go ahead and find it. But, yeah, I'll, I'll actually link their Discord down below. And... Well, actually, I might. If it's not in the description, you'll have to search up how to get into it. Because then that means I couldn't give you guys an invite. Which would be sad if I couldn't. <laughs> but, yeah. So, pretty much, you just um, want to, like, RP as good as possible. You want to... Be as realistic for the time period. Now, I know in the lore it says 2055, but the uh, as I read there, that nuclear war nuclear war happened, um, probably World War Three, I assume. That when when it happened, it um it destroyed the world, right? So then that would mean. Um, or it didn't destroy the world, it destroyed Lake Med, Arizona, and majority of the world, except if they weren't in the war. So, it's like nuclear bombed 2055, but that means that you're basically restarting humanity as an apocalyptic state, because you are, you have, like, you, you want to look as, um, if you want to be a farmer, um, just use a multiple of the outfits when you go to customize and click character. Just use one of the farmer outfits or use like a wastelander or something. Majority of the people here actually role play as wastelanders, which I find pretty confusing because I, th I thought most people would RP as military, um, military personnel, but um, not many actually do. Most people like being wastelanders and going in little games. So, <laughs> if you like doing that, go ahead. Um, um, with a rule that can be complicated at times, um, there's actually a rule that states if you have a group of your friends or, like, a gang that's, like, um, ten people or more, I'm pretty sure you can, like, um basically like um own it, it can't be faction owned area so if you have 10 or more people you can claim a certain area of the map it has to be really small though so if i want if i had a gang and i wanted to claim something and i was in um boulder i, th I forget what this town is called but i could claim this one house like about as big as this house that's the area. And if you wanted to claim Adam Kick, I'm pretty sure you'd have to claim half of Adam Kick. Like, you can't claim, like, Viridian, because that's faction-owned. You can't claim something that's faction-owned with your own little group or gang or whatever. But what you can do is claim, like, this, probably this side of the shop. I, I don't know why you would want to, but, like, you could claim probably, like, this store... Like, about that big, but, because Adam kicks, like, pretty, like, up here, it's really tall, so you could, if you had a group of ten people, just claim half of Adam, Adam kick, you should probably claim the top half, because it, it has bunks, why, why do you want to sleep on the floor, anyway, well, you can claim one area as a gang, but, <coughs> if you're not all there, then it doesn't count as count as your claimed area. So if you all go out to Crater View, then your place can be claimed by a different group of people, which, like, 99% of the time it doesn't get claimed. 
I've actually never heard of anyone claiming a spot, leaving it. Because once you leave your claimed spot with a group of friends or a gang of 10 members, some other gang can claim that um, area. But the chances of that another gang claiming your area is just really low. I've never heard of that ever. So, yeah. And also, gangs are really, it's a really low chance you'll come across them in a server. And usually, you can, I'm pretty sure you can have an infinite amount of people and doing, like, in one gang. But, you know, like, as long as there's still enough pe um, other people to RP, I think the max might be, like, 15 people in your gang. I, I mean, I, I think, but you might be able to actually have, like, more than that. I'm not exactly sure. So, yeah. Also, um, if you do end up reading the lore and wanting to join a faction, here's how you do it. Okay, let me turn on my screen. Okay. Now, so, you go to, after the Flash Advisory Board, and if... And you join this group, right? It's free. You don't have to request. Um, you go into affiliates. And then you see all these groups. Um, you see the market. Um, Anarchist apocalyptic, uh, apocalyptic apparel. The, the Wayfarers. I'm pretty sure it's like Wastelanders. Now, after the Flash US CPF, if you join this group, faction because this is a pretty popular faction 116 members they usually accept um requests every week they might not accept all of them i'm not sure but about you have to wait about a week sometimes they accept it earlier depending on when you actually like um try to like you know join if you join two days before the next week or like two days before they actually uh, start accepting yeah then they might accept you earlier than two weeks but yeah ba basically you just want to be um waiting for about a week and you'll get accepted into a faction whether you want to be an atom kick enthusiast which i don't actually know if that's a faction i just know it's clothing um if you want to work at one of these oh yeah this is boulder cove i just remembered if you want to work at one of these like um like clothing stores in boulder cove here um i'm pretty sure you have to join the faction also, no wearing faction clothes um, without actually being in the faction. Well, I think you can wear it without being in the faction. But if someone asks if you are in the faction, just say no. But I'm not actually sure because I'm, I'm not in SFL or SLF. But I'm role-playing as it, and I have before, and I haven't gotten in trouble. Nor have I read any rules that state that you can't do that. But if you just want to be safe, I suggest you don't. Um, yeah. So, basically, um, that was majority of how to roleplay properly and after the Flash Mirage. Now, if you want to, like, um, get a bunch of cosmetics, just go out of character, honestly. And if you have a card, don't, don't... Don't don't run people over with it. Don't don't run into people with your freaking car, lady. Ah! I'm joking, but yeah, that has happened to me before. So when these guys were role playing, right? They had a car, and they were driving around. Um, I was I was we captured a hostage out from the car. It was like literally right over here. And we captured a hostage and we shot the hostage and we killed him. And then the people in the car started ramming us with the car. And it, it they rammed us for like half an hour straight. It was absurd. And it was so annoying. Me and my friend honestly thought about just leaving to join another server, but they eventually just left us alone. Like, even when we were in Boulder Cove and we were inside a building, they would try their hardest to um, 
get or be in like in Ramos. They would try their hardest. Just don't be a ass in this game. Also, if you get voided, you leave the scene immediately. Or if they if someone if someone's fail or pain like they're role playing but not role playing their, their shots like they take out their gun and and then they start shooting that's fail rp but if you take out your gun and say he'd take out oh wait. he'd take out his gun he'd shoot his gun he'd shoot his gun now you want to say it in third person like he'd she'd his him not his or him, but you get the point. Third person or second person. Yeah, you you could say it actually. I'd take out my gun, like sorta of in third person. You you should probably say I'd because he'd is um he'd take out his gun is tagged. Actually, no, it's not. I don't know why it was for the first time then. <clears throat> And pretty much every location, everything has a lore in this game. Just please, for God's sake, read the freaking lore. If there's anything to do and you want to learn more, read the lore and ask. Uh, search up videos because there's this one guy that makes really good after the flash how to roleplay properly videos. And I sort of based some of these off of what he did. Just search up how to roleplay properly on after the flash and you'll get up his video it should be at the top so thank you all for watching have a good day goodbye Woo!